What is up everyone, Tyler here and I'm back with another video. Here's Gina right now. What's different about her is that she has ISR upper control arms. I did not do a video on it, but I will show you my suspension setup. My rear tires had a hole, so I have to run my stocks for a little while. And something I just got in the mail is the PBM angle kit. It's only the lowers but this will do the job. First, we got to uninstall the lowers on my car. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Let's just see how it goes. I wanna show you guys the height and camber before we put on the arms. Got a good amount of gap as of now, and it doesn't really look out that much. Okay, we're gonna get started with the removal of the stock arm. We already did this yesterday. It's gonna be much smoother and better to explain, I guess. This arm, you're gonna remove two arms. So this arm and this one. To remove this one back here, you're gonna have to remove this bracket. It wasn't too hard. It's pretty straightforward. All the arms and then the tie rod, you're gonna replace it with a, I'm using an S14. One, here's all the stuff I got. I already tightened this while I was on the car. It doesn't matter what side it is, it has to be facing the opposite way, or else the sub frame would be in the way when you tighten it. After I got the tie rod out, it was pretty easy. Just where the ball joint connects to the knuckle is pretty difficult. Now I have the offset rack spacer with the S14 tie rod all the way in. It should be perfect for the track with the mat. Now, grind down these nubs so that the arms can actually fit on. It's really hot. Okay, well, we know I fit. I'm gonna take it out. Hopefully, I don't hurt myself. Look at those shoes, boy. What? Those holes. Oh, I can't get it out. Now they. No. Tyler Power. Oh, there. We go. Oh, okay. All right. Spray paint. Ugh. There's one coat. I <laughs> can't get it. <laughs> my shirt, my brand new shirt for my other job, ruined. Okay. This is obviously pretty simple. You just spray? Don't really want to get it on my tie rod. 15 minutes, should be good. Put the arms in, a lot of camber. Now that I have some downtime while the paint's drying to show you guys what's going on. I'll show you guys what I have suspension wise all around. I'll explain it on this side since everything's in. So I have ISR upper control arms, which hit right now. Um, I'll, let's see if we can solve that though. And then GC racing, TR, coils, and then the PBM lower angle kit. This side's already un installed as I said before. It, was, it took a pretty long time but it wasn't as hard as I thought. We still gotta put on the brace right there. I feel like I'm running a similar amount of camber as I was before, just without a 50 mil spacer. Paint is sort of dry, it's a little sticky, but we wanna put on the arms and see it on the floor already. Right there is good. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Out that way a little bit. All right, straight up. <laughs> all, right, all right, push it in a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's in. 
There you go. Okay. All right, up. What I'm doing now is I forgot to back, put the tie rod all the way in, because it's the S14 one is longer than the actual G35 uh, tie rod, so. Right there, should be good. And also, I'm gonna grease it up. <laughs> I still need a boot over this for like a couple of days would be fine. Pissing everywhere. Yeah. That's gonna be such a pain to clean. So I'm gonna actually check if my steering wheel straight. Oh crap, no that's not. Don't put this in the vlog. Uh. See, dude, I can't vlog like that. All we're doing is aligning it now to our best ability. I think we got it pretty good, honestly. I'd rather have it towing out than in. And like, my shirt is like so dirty even more. You know what we still need to do? Raise it. Yeah, because for our cars... Should I just do that right now? Uh, or not raise it, but like the uppers. I mean, might as well. I'm gonna tie in some more stuff and then I'll get back to you when... We do the upper control arms. <laughs> Most of the stuff is done. All the other three bolts for the upper control arm right here are super easy to adjust, except for this one. I don't know why. They're equally out, but I'm not too sure why one of them is like that. I got it when I opened the box to show you guys how we're doing it. You guys probably won't have this problem with ISR arms, but I got a one of a kind arm. I want to see what I can do by myself. Right. <laughs> yeah, him by himself. <laughs> no. Yeah, nah. It's the same exact thing as before. Wow. Yeah, that shit's hard. Oh, it's not like, I don't know if we're, I don't think we're stripping it either. No. And, and to make sure we're getting the same length, just get a, a nut about the size you want and it out. Night's over. I'll show you guys it tomorrow. But now it's time for cleaning up. We have like so much tools, oil, to clean up. But look at this. Hopefully it doesn't make a loud noise. I can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna get a heart attack. Ah! <laughs> 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 I didn't think it was gonna be that loud. I was like, it's not going, and boom! <laughs> Red. Leave a comment in the comment section if you guys think this car looks like the representation of what Tyler is. Ugly. <laughs> As you may tell, my car is higher, but with Definitely more camber than before. This is because of the PBM lower angle kit for the G35 and 350Z. I feel like it made my car 10 times as better. I haven't gotten an alignment or anything, so this is a complete eye alignment. I wanna show you guys the suspension that the PBM arms replace. So it replaces these two lower control arms. I think they're called A and B. Comment if you know the specific names, but this is the primary reason why I got the lower angle kit, I was like, it's either I get solid bushings or all new lower suspension, which I did. Along with that, I replaced the G35 tie rods with S14 ones because they're longer. I set the PBM angle kit to the maximum track width just so I could play around with the fitment, all that. I think that was enough of me talking. Let's get to showing you guys how much angle it got me. When I turn the wheel all the way, when it's not moving, it doesn't go full lock. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Here it is, guys. It is a good amount of angle. You can see right there, that's the bump stop. And I set it to where on the other side, it'll be almost touching the strut. This isn't completely necessary since I, uh, it's basically a daily driver. I think it'll be useful to have. Instead of making like three point turns, you just make one. 